What's good, y'all? So I think the question is, do I see myself getting married in the future? Probably not. But if it's with the right person, with somebody who is really special to me, who is really important to me, I would. You know, as long as she's into the things like you are, somebody who listens, someone who is traditional, I think you're going to be very happy in life as long as you're staying positive. Because, and I've seen too many couples breaking up every time on social media. Then they go on TikTok and cry about how this man didn't do this and that for them. But as soon as that person or their partner moves on with their lives, they become jealous, they become bitter, and they become frustrated with their own personal lives. Especially if you're in a relationship. But I think for this couple right here, they decided to not only save the money, but create the best experience waiting ever with $500. And I, you know what? This right here, I don't find nothing wrong with it. I think it's a good thing for them to save up their money because it really goes to show you that you don't have to spend all of that extra amounts of money on a, a big, gigantic wedding with thousands upon thousands of guests just to meet this wedding special. You can just get married at your grandmother house, your parents' house, even at the, of where it is that it's free to get married at. You know, you don't have to be big and have all of this extra money to have a wedding. So shout out to this California couple right here. So let's get to it. Today you are witnessing a miracle. A breathtaking wedding with mountain views was the setting uh, for Joel and Kiera Broken Brow's big day on February 12th. It was just so refreshing just being at that wedding, that wedding day, just seeing her. A dream come true on a budget. The couple spent just $500 for their wedding, including mm. the venue and reception. Their wedding is now viral on social media. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Budget, but we that's what's we up. to be as frugal as possible. So however we could cut costs, like that was the goal. The the original plan was a courthouse wedding. Ooh, she's a oh, bird. courthouse. Kiera wanted something different. I was like, well, we should do like an elopement type thing with family. Like I said, you don't have to have a lot of money to spend on a gigantic wedding. But uh, to me, I really feel like what they did was not only saving their money, but to spend the money on like for $500 instead of spending gigantic amount of money. It's not only a great thing, but it's really good to show you that having a small wedding with less people is not only a great idea, but you don't have to be as big as everybody else's weddings are, especially in the pandemic. But the fact that they actually got married in a California view, that really gives me hope for the future if I ever to have a girlfriend and if we ever want to talk about marriage and all, you know, and all that, you know, when the time is right. You know, yeah, let's get back to the clip. That place. And I was like, oh, well, let me see if it can happen. I did my research and it could. That place was off the Angeles Crest Highway, which ended up costing nothing because the couple only invited 30 to 40 people. Oh, that's All not bad. The number needed to buy a public permit. Their loved ones also chipped in for items like the cake and flowers. And for their outfits, Kiera spent just $47 on her wedding dress. And Joel's suit was $100. I actually, I actually still wear the pants. You know, if I want to go out, I can still yeah, wear the pants. Yeah. I can still wear the <laughs> on the vest mm -hmm. if, if need be, the bow tie if need be. The reception was held at Misty's Lounge in the Inland Empire. There was no reservation, mm. but the couple arrived when the venue opened and guests paid for food and drinks themselves. The hey, that's what's up. Say their guests were very supportive. So people who paid hey, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Came to a wedding, and then you know they knew that they. Can I be honest with y'all? Um, when my uncle and my aunt got married in 2014, their wedding was big, but it wasn't that big. Like you see most weddings on TV and the wedding, um, the wedding receptions we went to, it was big. It was nice. They had like a DJ. They got the cakes and the food and all that. Um, the waitress, they just served us with foods and alcohol, um, uh, minus, you know, the champagne, but the wedding receptions after that was really nice. We all danced. We had a good time, you know, but we got married at my church, you know, but we didn't have, you know, 
40 guests. We had like more than 40 people, you know, at my own good in the morning. But I think for this couple right here to have 40 people at their wedding or whatever, you know, it's kind of like a genius move. And like I said, not every couple needs to have a big, gigantic wedding. Just like save up your money and just try to have the small wedding, but on a small budget and try to make the best of it. Let's continue. It's available for purchase. So they knew that and they came. We didn't I didn't hear anyone complain. The couple wanted an intimate wedding to honor their love story. And they say that was accomplished. I no love this image right budget. here. That was the image that I saw married, in the article earlier. Our wedding be assigned to you that it doesn't take all that and that it can definitely happen. Exactly. The beautiful couple honeymooned in Mexico following their wedding day. And that was separate from the $500 wedding budget. But they did oh. their entire journey journey on social media. We have all of the information on our website, foxla.com. I'm Coco McElroy, uh, that's genius. Fox 11 News. And shout out to Coco um, for um, broadcasting this wedding. Like I said, this is a nice video and it kind of really inspired me to want to save, you know, save my money. Even if I have a girlfriend and we, like I said, if we both decided to talk about marriage and having a, like a nice little wedding, but not really big, you know, get married at some park or get married at the house or just have like a church venue. You know, here's the thing. Um, there's this place called Chesapeake Beach, this casino called Rotten Real. Um, they have like a wedding reception thing in, in the back somewhere. It and it's right next to the hotel. So if I were to have a girlfriend and if I were to get married, I wanna have a, a wedding down in, you know, down in Chesapeake, you know. With a budget like five hundred dollars, just to be you know like them, because number one, what they did, they actually was thinking smart with their budget instead of just thinking large, you know. Because the more you save your money, the more time you have. So I think you could learn a thing or two from this couple right here. So if y'all enjoy my reaction to this video, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I'm gonna holler on my next video.